Guys, anyone who's been to Mexico will tell you that not all tacos are created equal. No! But I did hear from some friends that some real Mexican taquerias have been opening in Winnipeg recently. So that's my plan today. I wanna to see if I can find real tacos on the streets of Winnipeg, Canada. Are you ready? I know I am. Okay guys, so I'm here in a neighborhood called the West End. It's working class. It's a neighborhood that a lot of immigrants live, a lot of people who are new to Canada. And because of that, we got a lot of good food. Now I would love to walk around and show you a bit more, but as you saw from my last video, it's still pretty cold. And uh, yeah, I'm ready for these tacos. So let's go. Search for authentic Mexican food. That's the same search that I'm on today. That's the guy in the article behind me. Uh, his name is Carlos. He's the owner of this place and he moved here from Mexico City 13 years ago. He's serving people right now, but when it's a bit quieter, I might, I might try to ask him a couple questions. So guys, on this visit, I just ordered one taco chicharron, one taco queso asado, and of course, because this guy is from Mexico City, I had to get one El Pastor. My favorite. Oh yeah, I got a Jaritos too. <laughs> okay, so once again, I'm here at Sergeant Tacos with the owner of the place. His name is Carlos. Carlos, yeah. mucho gusto. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? How you doing? And what, what is it that made you want to open a taco taco restaurant? Well, or, since, or a Mexican restaurant, I Yeah, should say. Since, since I get here to Winnipeg, I was checking all the Mexican places that were open. And I never found that special flavor from uh, my place, Mexico City. And I couldn't find a really, really nice taco. I had this opportunity in this place. It's really small. But uh, right now, we have such good reviews everywhere, right, that the flavors are authentic. And that's where that's why I'm really happy to, yeah. to serve. You know, it's been over a month since I've had Mexican tacos, and uh, yeah, I cannot explain how excited I am for this. You can feel it's the real deal. You you don't even have to. You don't even have to taste it. Sometimes you just you walk into a place and you just know this is gonna be good. I want to cry. <laughs> oh, where do I start? Where do I start? Okay. Now, for anyone who has not been lucky enough to have a taco al pastor in your life, it's the classic Mexico City taco. You have pork, onion, cilantro, and pineapple. And the meat and the pineapple, it gives it a certain sweetness, and you add some salsa on it, and you get the, the, the heat. It's just an incredible combination of flavors. I have no words. Carlos, man, you are a wizard. Incredible tortilla, too. It's so hard to get tortillas like this in Canada, but they did it, they did it. What do we have here, Carlos? Okay, this is bacalao a la Vizcaina, Mexican style. And that's a really delicious dish from Christmas and New Year's Eve. So what it is, is a salted cod, and a lot of spices, it has uh, olives, capers, um, uh, chiles güeros, and uh, a lot of spices, and it's delicious, and, and in Mexico, people make lines just to get one torta with them. Wow, and I got one with no lineup. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. 
Carlos would not let me leave without having a Mexican Christmas treat. That's Mexican hospitality for you guys. Wow. Guys, I'm about to go to my second stop today, but I'm a little bit speechless here because not only was that food incredible, but the hospitality is the same as I experienced in Mexico. You know, it's that Mexican warmth. It's that, it's that, that human quality to Mexico that just keeps you wanting to come back again and again. And as you saw, <laughs> Carlos gave me that little holiday treat at the end. And they also gave me a little bag of churros. Um, <laughs> they look awesome, but I'm not going to eat them now. I'm going to resist because I need to save more room for tacos. But uh, yeah, Sergeant Taco Shop, you have definitely set the bar very high. So guys, I'm now in a neighborhood called Osborne. Uh, this is a pretty hip area. A lot of young people live around here. I was going to show you around a bit, but honestly, I just want those tacos. Let's go. Stop number two today is a place called BMC Market. I just spoke with the owner. She's a woman from uh, Michoacan, actually from the city of Morelia. And I told her that I was there earlier this year. And actually, wait, it's 2019. So I was there last year, I guess. The point is Morelia is an awesome place. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited to try these tacos. And I have something else that I'm really excited about, which is horchata. I have not had one of these since I left Mexico. What do you think about oh, our tacos? Oh, thank you so much. And this is a hot salsa. Okay. This is a barbacoa, barbacoa. chorizo, pastor, and tinga. Ah, muchas okay. gracias. De nada, provecho. Gracias. You know, she was just telling me when I ordered that it's tough to get the same ingredients in Canada as in Mexico, but this looks pretty, pretty close. <laughs> Okay, first up today, barbacoa. It's as good as it looks. It is as good as it looks. Wow. So did that place have real Mexican tacos? Come on, you saw the video, you know it did. And you know what's funny? Once again, I got a free dessert. The owner, a woman named Betty, she gave me a little postre to take home. And I told her like, no, really, you don't have to, you don't have to. And she said, come on, I'm Mexican. <laughs> uh, you know, when I started this video, I was thinking that I would, I would compare the different restaurants and I would tell you which one I liked best. But now that I'm done, I'm not going to do that, guys. Because for me, I thought I was coming to film a video about the best tacos, the realest tacos in Winnipeg. But the truth is, this turned into a video about Mexican hospitality and the Mexican spirit that makes every meal so special in its own way. Both those meals were incredible. Both those meals had great food. But most of all, they had people making the food with love. And uh, that's what I never forget from my time in Mexico. And that's what I will never forget from those two restaurants. So to anyone who's in Winnipeg, I highly recommend you check out both those places because you will not be disappointed.
As always, guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel. Thanks for watching.